In this video, we will show you how to assemble the doors for your polytunnel. Here are the parts you'll need. Constructing the doors in the warmth of your garage or on a hard flat surface is easier than trying to perform the operation on site. A door is made up of two uprights and four cross pieces. The uprights are 47mm by 75mm timber and are 2.1 meters long. The four cross pieces are also 47mm by 75mm timber and are 1 meter long. The remaining pieces of timber in the pack are battens, which we will use to secure the door cover to the door. To get started, we will drill four pilot holes in each upright with a 4mm timber drill bit. Using a tape measure, mark the position of the holes on the upright with a pencil. Holes are required 4cm in from each end of the upright and a further two holes 50cm in from each end. Ensure you drill the holes central to the width of the timber. Lay the two uprights parallel to each other, ensuring that the holes align, and then position the four cross pieces between the two uprights centrally with the holes. Once you are happy with the alignment, screw them together using the 150mm screws supplied in the commercial door furniture kit. We will now strengthen the joints with nail plates supplied in the commercial door furniture kit. Position a nail plate centrally across the joints and nail into place using twisted nails. Flip the door over and repeat. We will now fit the polythene panel to the door. Lay the polythene panel over the door. Ensure one edge of the panel is flush with the outer edge of one upright and use a staple gun to secure it down to one upright. Pull the panel tight across the width and secure it to the opposite upright, ensuring there are no wrinkles or creases in the panel. Now secure the panel to one end of the door whilst pulling any creases out. Secure the panel to the opposite end of the door. Finally, nail the battens around the frame on top of the panels. This will further secure the panels in position. The battens are 19mm by 38mm timber and come in 1.8m lengths. You will be required to cut battens to size. The uprights require one full batten and a shorter piece cut to size. Position the batten flush with the inner edge of the door. Secure in position with nails approximately 20 centimeters apart. Repeat on the opposite upright. Now measure and cut battens for the four cross pieces and secure in place. Trim the excess polythene off with a sharp knife. We will now fit the sliding door wheels. The sliding door runs on two sets of wheels, screw to the top of each door. These wheels run in an aluminium track which is bolted to the outside of the door lintel after the polytunnel has been covered. Assemble the wheels by sliding the head of the bolt onto the bracket so that the head is in the dip in the bracket. Thread the washer face nut onto the bolt and tighten. Thread the wheel assembly onto the bolt until the end of the bolt is flush with the nylon washer. Screw the wheel assembly to the top of the door centrally and 10 cm from each end. Ensure the slot of the bracket is on the inside face of the door. The inside of the door is the side which does not have the polythene panel attached. Using a 4mm timber drill bit, drill a pilot hole for each hole and then secure the bracket to the door using the screws provided in the sliding door furniture kit. Repeat this process on the opposite side of the door. You can find more videos to help you build your polytunnel and construct.firsttunnels.co.uk. We also have a construction helpline if you require any further assistance.